another edition of Cinderville's Evening. What's going on, everybody? I'm glad to see you're back. I just want to say hi to all my lovely subscribers and the people that are going to subscribe right now because I'm so sweet and I love you. <laughs> okay. So, as you know, if you watch my channel a lot, you've noticed that I've done quite a few piercing videos. In fact, I even put a 14 karat gold ring in my nose piercing, you know, just to change it up for a little while. And you've seen me get my all this hair. It's not a line. Uh, my industrial seems to be doing pretty good. Um, I, I don't, you know, with super zooming, we have to get in there, but I actually even got my rook done, which, you know, if you know what a rook piercing is it's you know it's kind of the cartilage uh, like like down here like okay you know here's my forward helix the black that's my tragus the other black that's my anti tragus the silver thing down here. There's just my low piercing. There's my conch hiding. Hiding in there somewhere. Long thing. I got a new one and it was... The ball was just so ridiculously small and it was uh, T23 titanium internally threaded jewelry and it fit like perfectly like it would be snug and not getting caught in anything but getting the ball on the other end was just not going to happen so I've had no problems with my nose. I mean, obviously, my industrial is still healing. Uh, my forward helix is still healing. And uh, my rook is still healing. But everything else, uh, you know, with that big heart in the way and then the black one i mean it's a little silver one you know you have to like you know really get up in there but yeah i did get a rook piercing so and okay let's talk about uh pain after care stuff like that uh, my favorite thing to use is the H2O Ocean. You're not touching anything, you're not disturbing it, you're just letting it rest. You just spray it down good, don't run on your shoulder or something. So don't wear anything fancy when you're going to be cleaning it. Just, you know, let it run down. You know, that's my favorite thing to use. My second favorite thing to use is just the saline solution that you get in one of those big bottles. I uh, get that and get a big cotton swab or a Q-tip depending on the situation and, you know, get any little crusties or anything, you know, go around in there. But try not to disturb the piercing as little as possible. Just, you know, clean around it, clean any gook, you know, any dirt, any, you know, because, you know, 
Well, well, we've seen piercings. We, we all know you might find a little bit of blood or something. Only use tea tree oil for uh, hypertrophic scarring, keloids. Don't use that for daily cleansing. That's much too rough on it. I had um, just a piercer that did uh, that did my uh, the, the, the triggers uh, that changed the jewelry. I think it was a little tiny bit soon to change the jewelry. Well, let me have a drink in a vape here. Drink in a vape, vape. Drink in a vape. Intermission, what do you want to call it? Okay, so only use tea tree oil. I know a lot of people like to use sea soap, salt, sea soap, bleh, uh, sea salt soaks, or you'd actually warm up the water just to room temperature, or a little higher, let it cool down, let the salt crystals, you know, uh, mix around in there and put the cup up to your ear but you know I, I I've just never found it necessary to do that with mine I mean it's probably a good idea because I've watched people like Pangea piercing and stuff that really 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 know what they're doing and they say to do that but you know it, as long as it works for you and your piercer, if your piercer tells you to do something crazy like use alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, go, go get a second opinion somewhere else. But just stick to the saline solution, to, uh, stick to the non-iodized uh, sea salt solution. You can mix up your own. Um, and pretty much just leave them alone. Let them heal. Don't change them before the time that it is for them to be changed. Let them just heal. Don't play with them. Don't twist them. Don't scratch them. Just don't, don't touch them especially with dirty hands and when you are going to clean your piercings scrub up your hands with antibacterial soap and hand sanitizer and then you know get a cotton ball or a cotton swab and do it or you know do your sea salt soap whatever you're going to do but if you're going to use sea salt, make sure it's sea salt, the non-iodized sea salt, not table salt with iodine in it. That's the difference. So, you know, I hope that helps you with your piercing care. And just remember, you know, if something, it's going to look a little red, it might have a little bleeding, you might have a little pus or something but you know that's pretty much normal signs of something healing if something's green or brown or uh, just does not look right looks like it's rejecting or something is really painful go back to your piercer and if, if they still say nothing's wrong go to your doctor or go to a, an urgent care or something like that because yeah that's that's not too good so i hope this helps you with your piercings and you know if you wanna give me a text or something down below a message 
say hi, tell me what kind of piercings you have, and tell me your stories about how they went. I'd love to hear it. And, oh, um, well, I guess that's it for this time. Let me just get up, I guess, and uh, show you my outfit of the day. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at what I'm wearing today. I actually have a one-piece spider suit on under everything. I mean, I can't just wear that because this would be x-rated. So, I have my bazooka on top and a skirt with little shorts that are attached on the bottom and a little jacket. I got my new spider choker on and some spikes on my wrist. Oh, my black diamond. Oh. <laughs> have on a whole lot of hair. <laughs> nice and floppy, huh? <laughs> so, that's just it. I'm so happy that you joined me today, and I hope you'll join me for further videos. I got a request to do a cooking video. I got a request to do a nails video. I'm waiting for them to kind of get all one length, even if it's not too long, so they look right. And of course, shoes, shoes, shoes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing it and uh, see which shoes I can walk in. Cause I've got some, like, uh, you know, six inch heels without the platforms and yeah I mean you've seen most of my shoes but we'll do a shoe extravaganza one of these days so okay lots of love and bloody kisses uh -huh.